people have this negative connotation associated with the word discipline. But for me, it comes down to self-discipline. And self-discipline today, for me, is like waking up early. Waking up at 4.30, going to the gym, getting emails done, that is self-discipline because it's going to be good for me. When I was 10 years old, uh, I used to come home every day after school and I would take my jacket off and I would I'd throw it on the ground or like throw it near my back hall closet just because I knew my mom would hang it up. And then one day, uh, my dad comes home early from work and he uh, sees that my jacket's on the floor and he calls me down and he says, why is your jacket on the floor? And I said, I don't know. And he said, your jacket always needs to be hung up. It's not your mother's job. And now you have to go to your room and you need to write an essay on the importance of not being lazy. I had to sit there on a computer, uh, an old computer at that, and figure out how to write this essay on not being lazy. It had to be 10 pages. It was this awful experience. It took me forever. And because I was so terrified that my dad was gonna make me do it again or yell at me or something, I never once dropped my jacket on the floor. That is how my dad taught me self-discipline. But you have to remember that no one is born with self-discipline. We all learn it in some way, shape, or form. And like I said this morning on the way to the gym, I was taught self-discipline because I had a reward, right? Which was not being grounded. And I had a risk, which was shit. If I don't write this essay and I turn it into my dad, I'm gonna be in trouble, right? I will be grounded. So there was risk and reward. Like, what are your weaknesses? What are the things that you care about changing is your weakness your weight right now stop this video go into your kitchen throw out all the crap that you eat that you own that is putting on weight delete the app on your phone that delivers things drive the other way home that doesn't take you by mcdonald's if you're wasting time all the time you're not doing enough then i want you to go into your phone and delete all the apps that are taking up too much of your time the news apps that you read for no stupid reason the games that you play for no stupid reason if you want to know more people if you think your network is too small and you want to grow your business start right now reach out to five people dm five people email five people right now, tell them why they should know you and why you should work with them, and then follow up with them every single week until they respond. You wanna make more money? Take the money you do have and put it away, lock it up. By the end of the month, how much money do you have? Next month, save an extra $5 a day, right? What's five times 30? The next month, save $10 a day if you can. Get an accountability buddy for everything. Remove every attemptation, and we're gonna call it an accountability buddy. Find that accountability buddy and tell them, do not let me eat this, do not let me spend this money promise me you will help me do that and they'll appreciate it and then say you'll do the same thing for them maybe they have some fucked up temptation that they have no discipline for you're going to help them do the same thing that they're helping you with and you're both going to be accountable buddies for the same exact reason once you figure out what your weaknesses are and you remove those temptations and get it out of sight and out of mind then you set goals you set goals and you set rewards and you set goals that can be quick Make them hourly goals, make them daily goals, make them weekly goals, monthly goals, whatever you need to do. So figure out what rewards can be for you. Maybe a reward for you is vacation. So set up a vacation to a place you always wanted to go to but could never afford. Book it right now. Have it terrify you. Put it six months in the future and know that you're only going to be able to afford it if you do the work that you need to do and figure out how to get around those weaknesses that you have and put those temptations off to the side. If you do that, that vacation is then going to push you to make more, to get yourself in better shape so you can take that photo or whatever else makes you happy when you're on that beach by the time you finally get there. And don't be one of those people who just tries to pull off the band-aid or like jump into the cold pool. Don't just go to extremes because you're never going to keep it up. You're then that person who at the end of every year says, man, I want to get into shape. You go get a gym membership, you show up for three weeks in January and you don't show up again because you go back to old habits. That's not how you build self-discipline. Okay, you don't just jump in head first, you take baby steps. Start by going to the gym for 10 minutes. Start by waking up and doing 10 sit-ups and 10 push-ups. Start with little baby steps. And if you fuck up on one day, don't beat yourself up about it, okay? Forgive yourself and then move on because the next day the sun is going to rise and everything is going to be okay and no one cares. Just remember that. You're the only one who cares, so you're the only one you need to forgive.
No one else is going to forgive you for making mistakes with how you want to better improve yourself. You're the one who has to forgive yourself. And no one else is going to reward you either because they're all working on their own shit. So you have to be the one who rewards yourself. If you're thinking about the fact that you have poor self-discipline and you want to do something about it, don't wait till tomorrow. Don't watch this video again tomorrow morning and then start a change. Don't wait till Monday when you get back from this business trip or from this thing or because you've got this test on Friday and you want to wait till the weekend. Start today. Start right now. Stop this video right now and start something that you've been wanting to start for the last year, for the last two years. Whatever it is, because no one's going to care that you didn't do what you told yourself you were going to do. Because if you wait till tomorrow, tomorrow turns into never. That's exactly what happens. And then five years goes by, and then 10 years goes by. And then you're that person standing on the street corner looking back at the time and wondering what happened. Where did everything go? How come that person went past me? How come she went past me? Instead of somebody who says, this is how it happened, right? A how it happened person, you're gonna be a how come it didn't happen. And that's what happens when you wait for the next day and you wait for the next day. And the last but not least, do not give up on yourself. You are the one person who can actually turn it around. No one else is going to help you. No one else is going to tell you what to do. You're the only person who has all of the willpower to turn everything around for yourself. That's it. End of vlog. They said I changed. Maybe they were just jealous because they didn't change. Maybe they were ashamed because they didn't change. Maybe they were disappointed in themselves that they remained the same. <laughs> yeah, I changed. Like anyone with ambition will remain the same. Yeah, I changed. I changed everything but my name. I wasn't born a miracle to be average. I have absolutely no desire to fit in. No desire to conform to anyone's wishes. But I have every desire within myself to improve myself. Every day. Every hour. Every minute. They'll say you didn't have enough time for them. <laughs> well, maybe they weren't worth your time. They laughed at my dreams and my goals. <laughs> well, maybe they were embarrassed because they didn't have any. Maybe their dreams were really nightmares. Maybe their lives was really just a horror story. They said that I was arrogant. Maybe they just hated my ambition. Maybe they were too ashamed because they had none themselves. Maybe I reminded them of what their weakness is. They said I wouldn't make it to the top. Listen, they said I couldn't make it full stop. They said I would fail, that I would fall, that, that, that no one would believe in me. They gave me so many reasons. But they forgot to ask about my desire. They never asked about my willingness to sacrifice. They never asked if I was willing to do whatever it took to make it. Maybe if they did, they would have kept quiet. Or maybe they wanted to ensure they had someone to sit with them at the bottom of the mountain. You know, with the majority of the people that didn't put in the work. Those who didn't have the courage, those who didn't have the drive, those who didn't have the will or the passion to fight for their dreams, to sacrifice, or even to conquer. Maybe they were afraid because they didn't have what it takes. What it takes to keep up with my drive, to go toe to toe with my passion. You know, they say that you'll never make time for them. Well, maybe you only make time for the people that are worth your time. And since there's a lack of those type of people, maybe they're not that type of person. You know, somebody once told me, it's better to be hated for what you are than to be loved for what you're not. You know, it's better to walk alone and be successful than to walk with those that are wandering aimlessly through life and end up in the middle of nowhere. But it's okay, because when my circle got smaller, my drive got bigger. When my circle got smaller, my vision got larger. When my circle got smaller, my circle got stronger. The proof is always in the pudding. You can't fake results. I move on without them. I know I'm stronger. I know I'm better. I know that I'm greater. Without them, it's a blessing. Without them, I keep on growing, moving forward. I'm constantly on the move without them. You're not a puddle. Stop letting them walk all over you. 
You're not a doormat. Stop letting them wipe their dirt on your face. You're not below them. Don't let them look down on you. Listen, stand tall, walk strong, and hold your own. Listen to me, there is no one above or below you. There is no one that is superior or inferior to you. You must always remain hungry. Don't ever, ever lose your passion or your compassion. Listen to me, you have enormous drive, but don't lose your humility. Put yourself in their shoes, but don't live in them. Live your life. Let them live theirs. Go after your dreams and let them decide their own fate. You said that I would never make it in life. You said I would fail. You said that I would humiliate myself. I didn't have it in me. I was no good. I wouldn't succeed. You said I was weak. You said I was not strong. I guess they didn't know what I knew that I would make it, maybe not immediately, but absolutely and definitely. The difference between winning or losing, the difference between those who do it and those who don't make it in life, and listen to me, it isn't about talent. It isn't about any type of magical formula. The difference is character. It is your human spirit. And if you're going to make it in this world, living out your dreams, or living out your nightmares, it is completely up to what you do. It all comes down to you.